Welcome back. You're listening to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shannon Register. And every week we bring you information to use on your next real estate transactions. Today, we are specifically talking with in, uh, about investors, talking to investors about some exciting, <laughs> uh, exciting new options and opportunities for you. I've got Jay Olson uh, with uh, Olson Insurance Group here with us. And uh, we have some uh, exciting things to talk to investors about, don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff for them. So your uh, your policies are through Goosehead Insurance, right? Yeah. And you guys do a little bit of everything. We do. We do. We work with uh, residential, with auto investors. We do. We do all of it. Uh, the investors have kind of a special place in you know for me because I'm an investor myself. We've we've been doing it ourselves almost ten years. Uh, we bought a bunch of duplexes in the Austin area in '08. And we started doing some house flipping last year, and we're right now we're starting to pick up uh, rental units again. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I know what the investors looking for and what they're thinking. Yeah. And so, in all the stuff I do, it's it's what am I doing on my own policies? I, I want to be able to give that to others. So you you have a good perspective because you're an investor yourself. Mm -hmm. So you know what investors are needing when it comes to insurance. Absolutely, and. Um, I'm kind of surprised at some of the things that come across my desk when people say, can you look at, at my insurance? Uh, I think people pay pretty good attention to what they have on their own home insurance and auto insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, but on rental properties, I think a lot of times it's just viewed as an expense and they don't see, hey, this is your asset. This is really important to cover. And it's just, we, we see all kinds of mistakes in, in the coverage. It just hasn't been looked at very closely. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of my my mission to make sure people are properly covered on their policies. So are you mainly seeing that they're underinsured? Um, yes. Well, that's one of the things. It's it's un, way underinsured in many cases. And what the problem is with that, if let's say the house burns down, before that contractor is going to start rebuilding the house, they're going to be looking for that shortage from the investor and saying, hey, you need to give me $40,000 before I start work. And those people are going to be really mad because they thought they had insurance. I've been paying for it all these years. But it only covers a certain amount, not it, enough to cover rebuild. Yeah, it only covers up to what the limit is. And and a lot of times uh, folks are just trying to get the lowest rate, trying to get them into that policy. And there's not a lot of thought put into it. And and folks, you know, it's not my house. I'm not paying as close of attention. Right. I'd argue it's actually more important because you're taking care of your own house. You, you can't always be at your rental property. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I know you want to help people do is to save money and then, of course, make sure they have the proper insurance. Um, but one of the other things that you offer is uh, with loss of rent as well, right? You can They can protect their loss of rent if they were to have to rebuild the property. Yeah, absolutely. There's there's three key things that we're looking at that I think investors really need to to keep an eye on. And one of them is if your your property's, you know, say it burns down and, and it takes six months to rebuild it or a year, you know, it can take even longer. Mm -hmm. Um those their tenants have to go live somewhere else and they're not gonna be getting paid rent during that time. Right. So this covers that. And a lot of policies we see don't have that. All of our policies have loss of rents coverage. I think it's just it's too important not to have that. Yeah. So if you're an investor, go look and see if you have that. Yeah, right. <laughs> absolutely. Kind of important. Or show it to us, and we'll take a look at it and, <laughs> and and tell you. So that that's a huge thing. Another thing that often gets overlooked is liability coverage. Sometimes we see no liability, or if we do, it's oftentimes very low low limits. And I mean, this this is huge. You you have to worry about your tenant getting hurt. You have yeah. to worry about their guests getting hurt. You have right. to worry about your contractors coming in and getting hurt. There's a lot of people, and you're yeah. also the other and thing. And you're is not even there. You're not there. <laughs> yeah. So people could say something happened on your property. You don't even. You can't even rebuttal it and say you weren't even there that day. It couldn't have. No. Had, you, you can't even. You know. You don't even have that argument. No. Just, it's it's a huge exposure, and mm -hmm. it's usually not expensive to take care of. So it's it's kind of frustrating to me when I see. This has been not covered. It's it's either been overlooked or someone's trying to save them fifty dollars, and this this is too important of a thing to miss. So we we always put it at at three or five hundred thousand dollars, whatever the highest limit is we can get. Also, if if you have an umbrella in your general insurance, this will help with that because your umbrella also goes on top of your rental properties. And you feel like um, they need both, right? Absolutely. Okay, and you also feel like they need flood insurance too. I do, and I'm glad you asked that because we we have some uh, really exciting news about flood insurance, especially for investors. Uh, traditionally, the the only option has been going through through FEMA, getting their policies. Mm -hmm. They'll charge you a specific rate, and then because they're underfunded, they've started tacking a $250 surcharge onto all rental properties. So your rate might be $400. Add the $250. Now you're at $650. 
That's a um, lot for flood insurance. It, it really is. And I think every, every, and for not even being in the flood zone. Right. So a lot of investors, myself included, are looking at that and saying, man, is it really worth it? I'm just paying half of that is the surcharge. Uh, so we have some private carriers that have come in and started offering private insurance, fr- private flood insurance. And one thing, they don't do the, that $250 surcharge. That's a FEMA thing. So mm-hmm. they, they price it as they feel like. So oftentimes their rate is less and they don't have the $250 surcharge. So we're finding sometimes it's 40, 50% less. You get the policy for 350 instead of 650. Mm-hmm. And so for all those investors that you know are nervous after all these rains we just had, right. but also saying, I don't want to spend $650, they can get it for 350. They're they're pretty happy. So we're very excited to be able to offer that. I think that's huge for investors. It is huge. Uh, yeah, I mean, because I would think most investors out there don't even know this is an option right now. No, no. So we're, we're trying to get the word out. We go to a lot of investor meetings, property manager meetings, and, and we're talking to a lot of folks about it. And I- as much as I, I talk about the other things, when I say the flood, they're yeah. they're most excited, I think, because of all the rains we've had. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I think it's I think it's awesome. So let's talk about some of the things that you guys are doing in your company, because y'all have some exciting things going on as well. We do. We do. We have uh, recently teamed up with a company to, we want to give back to the community. Uh, you know, the community has been very generous to us, so we want to give back. And basically, we're giving a, a portion of our commissions to to local charities uh, based on, you know, whenever we write a policy, after the whole process, after the signatures, the payment and everything, people are going to get a link saying, where would you like this donation to go to? So we're letting the people choose. So we're, okay. we're donating it. And, and for every policy, you know, we'll, we'll do a certain amount. Mm-hmm. But we let them choose. And everybody we've talked to about it is very excited and, you know, that they get to choose. Mm-hmm. And it's, 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 a, it's a really neat process. And, and you know, we, we hope it's uh, really good for our clients. And you've already started this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So now somebody uh, who is an investor out there that's hearing the program today, they need to just pull their policy, just pull their declarations page, send it to you, and you can review it and see whether they're undercoveraged or not, whether they have the rental loss coverage and you know that way, and, and also to get an estimate for flood insurance, right? Because right now they probably mm-hmm. don't even know what their options are for flood insurance. Yeah, they've probably been told what the FEMA rate is, right. and maybe they said, "I'll just do it myself. I don't want to spend that." Or maybe they have it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we can look at all of that, and we're happy to. It, it's and I, I love talking to other investors. I always like hearing what's out there. What are people doing? There's so many different strategies, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, we're always happy to help folks in in that arena. So how can people reach you? Uh, best bet is to call us, uh, 281-402-8175, and we can get started from there. And chances are we're, we're going to say just go ahead and send over the deck pages that you have, and we'll mm-hmm. review it with you. And here's the strengths and weaknesses of everything. Here's some suggestions we have. Make your recommendations mm-hmm. and see if maybe private flood insurance is a better option for them. Yeah, yeah. We always run it, and you know, we see what happens. And uh, you know, a lot of times you can save a lot of money on it. It's exciting that investors now have options. It is, and it's it's good coverage too. It's the same coverage. the The rules are the same. It's actually a little bit more coverage, but it's, it's essentially the same. So it's not like you're you're getting half the policy for half the price. You're you're getting the same stuff. It's good. Well, and one of the things that this is not just for investors. This private flood insurance is for everybody. The the key to why we're talking specifically to investors is because investors have been carrying this extra two hundred fifty dollar fee. Yes, from yes. FEMA, and they wouldn't have to pay that through. An, yeah, it's twenty five dollars on you know your regular. residential houses, mm-hmm. but they knew they could. You know, they could get it from the investors. <laughs> investors couldn't fight back. So they let's, let's put most of that subsidy towards or put most of the surcharge towards the investors to right. fix the shortfall. Yeah. All right. So if you've got a if you've got a policy that you want uh, Jay Olson to take a look at, you can uh, call him at 281-402-8175. 281-402-8175. He'll take a look at it and see if you could save money using private uh, flood insurance and make sure that you're getting all the cost savings you need, have good policy coverage, and uh, be protected just in yes. case we have. I want to make sure you have the right protection. That's my, <laughs> my my number one thing too. All right, Jay Olson with Olson Insurance Group. Uh, we appreciate you coming in today. Some great information, and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. All right, you're listening to Houston Real Estate Radio. You can find us online at HoustonRealEstateRadio.com. All of our sponsors are there on our sponsor page with links to their websites. And if you missed any of today's show, you can catch it online in beautiful HD video at HoustonRealEstateRadio.com. We'll be right back.
People often find themselves in need of storage and moving, but don't want the hassle and stress. Sound familiar? Well, at Zippy Shell, we make storage and moving easy. Zippy Shell will deliver a storage container to your home or business. You load it at your leisure, and we'll take it to one of our safe, convenient storage facilities. Or ship it to your final destination. We treat your stuff like it's our stuff. Because we understand you're not just giving us your belongings, you're giving us your trust. Zippy Shell. Storage and moving that makes life simple.